Hey, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I've got some tips to help you progress from small to XL jumps. To help you with this progression, I'll share with you what fundamentals you'll need, how each feature should feel, and what you should accomplish before moving on to the bigger feature. Starting off, before you even go into the park, it's important to have the fundamentals of ollies and side hits down. Ollies and side hits are just gonna get you comfortable getting your board into the air, riding with a bit more speed, and just overall feeling balanced doing small jumps. The basics of an ollie is that you're loading up the tail of your board, springing yourself in the air, bending your knees to get balanced, and then riding it out with a few speed checks to slow yourself down. The amazing thing about doing this outside the park is that there's lots of places that are safe where you can practice this, and it's just gonna get you comfortable with the speed, with getting some air, and it also opens you up to practicing lots of different tricks as well. So once you're comfortable with ollies, with doing lots of different side hits, and with a few tricks outside the park, then you'll be ready for your first small jump. When you're ready for your first small jump, definitely find the smallest jump you can. The nice thing about small jumps is that they're fairly low consequence, meaning that if you don't make it all the way to the landing and you come up short, it's not gonna be the end of the world. But when you're ready for your first small jump, make sure the weather's fairly good, you have good visibility, the snow conditions are good because you may take a few falls and you don't want it to be in icy conditions. On a small jump is really where you're gonna get your fundamentals down. So coming in with a few speed checks, pointing your board straight, having your backhand over the tail of your board with your shoulders and hips square to your snowboard. When you take off into the air, make sure you bend your knees up. This is gonna help you to stay more balanced. And then when you land, extend your legs so that you can bend your knees on the landing, doing a few turns to control your speed. Once you're comfortable with the speed, the balance, and have a variety of tricks on a small jump, then you'll be ready to take it to a medium. When you're ready for your first medium jump, make sure that you're feeling confident with the speed and the amount of height you're gonna get. One way to help you get the speed dialed for a medium jump is to watch other riders hit it, see where they turn, how many speed checks they take, and where they point their board straight off the lip of the jump. You do wanna feel like you have your speed dialed for that first time hitting a medium because there are more consequences if you come up short or if you send it too far. Along with getting the speed right, you also wanna feel comfortable popping off the lip of the jump. This is gonna help you to bring up your knees for being balanced, and it's also just gonna give you more time in the air so that you can make it to that landing and hit the sweet spot. The great thing about medium jumps is it does give you that time in the air to go for some different tricks from all kinds of spins from 180s to 540s. And once you have a variety of those tricks in the bag with that confidence with the speed, then you may be ready to step it up to large and extra large jumps. When you're ready for your first large jump, you've really put in a lot of the work that's gotten you to this point. So you should feel like you're an advanced rider in your snowboard skills and fundamentals. You wanna again, gauge the speed for the jump by watching other riders see where they turn, where they make their speed checks and where they're pointing it in straight. Larger jumps are definitely more consequence, but they also unlock the ability to do more advanced tricks. So if your goal is to do very advanced tricks, then you're gonna need that time in the air with the larger jumps to complete those tricks. One of the biggest challenges that I find with larger or extra large jumps is the pressure that gets put onto your snowboard as you ride up the kicker. So one thing to be aware of is that pressure that gets put onto your board. And when you feel it, be able to adjust to it so that you can have a balanced takeoff, which will keep you balanced in the air and set you up for that perfect landing. Because of the consequences with large and extra large jumps, it's good to be riding with friends that you trust, people that can give you advice on the spot about the specific features, and you wanna be doing it when the conditions are good. Good visibility and snow conditions that are forgiving and gonna set you up for success. I hope those tips help with your jump progression. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up down in the comments. 
I'll also put a link here to the snowboard progression playlist where there are lots of videos to help you progress with your snowboard skills. If you haven't yet, subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. Thanks so much for watching and have fun at their snowboarding.